plenty of character in that extra time period there, Pun? Well, I thought we showed plenty of character really all day, mate. They, um, you know, a couple of games there, you know, chased back. But, you know, we had a little different occasions in every game where there was really super efforts. Um, you know, and we just hung in there in the end. We defended our try line. I don't know how many sets and dropped it out and dropped it out. You know, in nines, that's hard to defend in try line. So I thought they did a really good job. Can you build seasons off that? I'm telling that in there, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> You can. It's a different concept, obviously. You know, there's only 90, but definitely our character and the way we um, scrambled and covered each other's back and never gave in. There was some real resolve and attitude in that group. And um, you know, I know some of received some messages from you know the senior players in our group at home, the Gallons and the Misses and all them, and they're so proud of the, um, what they achieved. So it's, it's a great start. Wait, they say it's only nines, but looking at the way you're talking to the ref at the end there, there was a lot at stake. It meant a lot to you getting the result. Though. Oh, yeah, I think, mate, when you run onto the field at any time, the competitive nature takes over. You know, you don't sort of get this far in sport if you don't have that in you. And, you know, when you're out there in the heat of the moment, in a high-pressure situation, you know, it's, that's, that's the game we play. Now, you came into this concept uh, with anything particular in mind to try and win it or to, to, see what, uh, you know, to see what you ended up finding out, just putting courage on the line there. Yeah, I think like most coaches, you know, we want to get back on the plane tomorrow without any injuries. Um, but, you know, once you get here and, you know, Wade sort of touched on it then, the competitive nature in all of us and, you know, it's definitely players when they get out there that it's not just a nines tournament, you know, it's not a Mickey Mouse tournament. Uh, they want to win it when they come here. Um, I know a lot of clubs put a bit of training into it this year. I think you would have saw definitely from last year there was probably not as many long long range tries. There was a lot, the defence was a lot you know, more structured. Teams really thought about their kicking. So, um, yeah, as I said, uh, we came here with no expectations, but we wanted to compete, and we did that really well. Did you train for it? Yeah, we, had, uh, we did a little bit of you know, kickoff structures. Bryce, you did a little bit of that, and we did one, probably one session. Yeah, one good one session. But we do a fair bit of it anyway. Um, you know, small-sided games during the year, not related to the nines, but uh, yeah, I think they adapt pretty quickly. Um, as a club, I think it's, obviously it's a good thing. Cause success is always good. Um, you know, we got us off, you know, to a good start. I just think, you know, the tournament, especially for our type, uh, our team. Sorry, we we're a lot of young guys, and um, you know, they can only get confidence from, you know, playing at this level, playing against the quality of players they did. You know, someone, say like Jackie Bird in our team. You know, he got to play against Adam Reynolds, who's won a comp, Isaac Luke, who's an international, Dylan Walker, an international. You know, and they get the chance to get out there and, you know, go one-on-one -on -one and, you know, probably, you know, gain a little bit of confidence, knowing that they can, you know, mix it up a little bit. And I think as an individual, you can learn, especially a young individual, you can learn a lot from the game. And, you know, I couldn't be proud of our young boys. They, you know, it was a tough ask for them and they just kept showing up, showing up and, you know, fun out a few challenges before the, every game, we, they just kept showing up. So, you know, I'm really proud of them and, you know, stoked for them. Shane, you mentioned the injuries. How's the new Brown? Yeah, he's, um, I think he's booked in for surgery Monday or Tuesday. He's done his ACL, so, you know, that's um, really bad news for new. Um, you know, surprisingly, he's got a really good attitude about it and he understands that it's rugby league and you know, it's not the nines, you know, it's not related to the nines. Could have happened to training, uh, could have happened to... I don't know, in a trial next week, so uh, disappointing for New. Um, disappointing, you know, he was going really well, and I know Michael Innes rang him straight away and spoke to him on the phone, and uh, he'll be back in maybe four months, five months, and better than ever. Why have you looked at how much cash you feel it to? Oh, you know, I know Lewis will be filthy that he can come over. Um, you know, he loves that sort of stuff, and... <laughs> you know, I had cash and, you know, I had my weekend planned. I wasn't coming over. I had the weekend off for fun. And then on Wednesday we come in and, and we tried to run. He got halfway across the field and back. He just went, oh, sort of not good. Fun had called me over, said, wait, are you on the plane? So here I am and Louie won't be getting the centre of my stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, sorry. Another guy who was in for 
impressed with his bounce on time. What do you sort of have envisioned for him this, this year? Yeah, it's it's a bit of a tricky one, yeah. It's uh, yeah, because we got you know, our fullback, our player of the year for the last couple of years, in Michael Gordon. Um, but Val is, um, you know, he's an exciting player. You know, we talk about winning to extra time. One of those goals that he had there hit both posts, I think. So it was we could have maybe finished it in normal time today. But <clears throat> he's an exciting player, and he's learning his trade, and he's learning off, uh, you know, a really good player in Michael Gordon. So. You know, we'll swap him around a little bit, but similar to what the Roosters did last year with their two, Schick and um, Minicello, and um, a bit on the wing and a bit at pullback. But yeah, I'm really excited, and he's, he's getting better every week. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, guys.